Alright people, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So this is going to be a two-parter. So as you guys know, there is a lot of new red-eye support. But all the red-eye support has love for the Archfiends, you know, with the new Gemini Archfiend monster and, you know, Black Archfiend dragon. But, you know, there is no love for Meteor Dragon. Not at all. And, you know, that's another red-eye fusion who even has higher attack. But now, I mean, you know, you thought you were going to not go into, like, you know, red-eyes, was it? Red Eyes B Arch, I don't know, I don't know, but, you know, 3200, you know, normal beater, you thought you weren't going to go in anymore, you're, just, you're not even going to even touch, you know, you know, Meteor Dragon, the fusion with, uh, you know, with Meteor Dragon and Red Eyes, who has higher attack, it has 3500, so this person decided to go ahead and create some fake cards that go with the Red Eyes archetype that, you know, could be, uh, that could be used with Meteor Dragon instead. So, of course, what is, uh, you know, Archfiend, they get, they get a normal, they get a Gemini monster, and then they get a fusion. This is going to be a two-parter, so we're going to look at the Gemini monster and the fusion, and determine whether if this, if these two cards were, you know, real cards and not fake, you know, how good would they be, would people run it, and, uh, you know, is it respectable? So today, we are looking at Red Eyes, Atomic Anomaly, Meteor Dragon, alright, so, has Meteor Dragon its name? It is a level 6 fire dragon effect Gemini monster with 1800 attack and 2000 defense. So stats are not that great for a uh, 6 star monster that just, you know, you tribute for. But uh, it's not too terrible because it's supposed to be meteor dragon effect. Does that make sense? So, of course, it's a Gemini monster. So this card shares a normal monster while face up in the field or in the deck. Which is, uh, is that right? Are they treated as double monsters in the deck? Gemini monsters? I don't think so. I think they're still treated as, uh, as, uh, effect monsters in the deck. Yeah, that doesn't seem right to me. Let's go ahead and look at Doom Shaman. This card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. So, yeah, that's wrong. This card is treated face up while face up on the field or in the... Okay, okay, never mind. I read that wrong. Never mind, I'm just an idiot. It, it does say graveyard. Yep. Shows no monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. Got it. That's fine. Well, this is, I was about to say, all you had to do is just copy and paste from a normal monster. While this, car, while this card is a normal monster on the field, you can normal summon this card to have it become an effect monster with its effect. Alright, it's a fact. Once per turn, you can send one red-eyes normal monster from your deck to the graveyard to destroy two cards your opponent controls. That's fucking busted. I right? No, 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 no. All you have to do is send a red eyes normal monster from your deck to the graveyard to go freaking plus two on your opponent. Like, just go ahead, yep. Send red eyes, bam, bam, destroy two. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, that should be changed. It should be like once per turn, you can send one red eyes normal monster from like your field to the graveyard. That way, you know, this fake wouldn't be that useful unless you have another red eyes on the field or, you know, it would make more use of, you know, return of red eyes. But just being able to go ahead and not only send uh, red eyes from your deck to your graveyard, which, you know, generally they like to do. I mean, you see some decks running like, you know, uh, you know, Dragon Shrine and, you know, Dragon Green. But you get to go ahead and pop two of your opponent's cards, like, I don't even care if it's stats on good. That effect is way too good for a monster like this. And it, it's just too powerful. Way too powerful, you know. Maybe you could, uh, you know, turn that down a little bit. Definitely, you know. Uh, like I said, if you send one red-eyed normal monster from your field to the graveyard, then you would have to go, like, all right, summon this. Gemini, get, you know, use my normal summon to gain this monster's effect. Use, you know, Return of Red Eyes. This, of course, is a Red Eyes. So you get to go ahead and summon it. And then you get to go ahead and send a pop, too. And then still, that's even powerful because you can just keep on doing it. So pretty much, you probably have to definitely take this guy out. His stats aren't the best. So, you know, 1800, 2000. But, you know, I think that would be a much be better, more balanced version than this. All right. See the creator says, so it's not entirely sure what the ruling is on Gemini's cards, but I would assume since they're going to be meta relevant, that it could be okay in the advanced card section. Okay, although if I'm wrong on this one, I apologize. Anyway, in the light of new summons, Scald the deck I got, I realized I wanted to make two cards based on Red Eyes and Meteor Dragon. 
This is based on Meteor Dragon of the deck and following the same philosophy as Summon Skull 1. Is it 2 OP? Honestly, with Power Creep nowadays, I can never tell the lines anymore. Yeah, it, it's pretty powerful. You you, you use your normal summon for your effect. I mean, literally, you send this guy to the grave, you just be like, alright, you know, activate, you know, Silver's Cry, summon this, use my normal summon for effect, send a red eyes, bam, 2. Like, it's that powerful. And it doesn't even say that you you can only use the effect once per turn, or you can only use the effect of this monster once per turn. So literally, if you have multiples in the graveyard, you can be so like, all right, call the hundred summon this back, send a red eyes blow up to activate a waste of summon this card back, send red eyes blow up to activate another one, blow up to blow up to blow up to blow up to like, oh my god, you know, this monster is also a level six. You can XC into like, you know. You know, uh, Toss Strike Bouncer, M7, after you go ahead and blow up some cards. Very powerful, very powerful. A little bit too powerful, you know. And like I said, put that, that, uh, maybe try, send one Red Eyes No Monster from your field to the graveyard to destroy one card your opponent controls. Yeah, that's a little bit better, and you can only use the effect of this once per turn. Ah, there we go. <laughs> So uh, tell me what you guys think about this card. If you guys think it's balanced the way it is, or and if it should be changed, what would you change it to? So um, anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Fake Card Friday. We will be back next Friday to look at the fusion monster. So if the media, if there's a regular Gemini media dragons like this, I don't want to see the fusion. We'll just have to find out to see what this man did. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all support, and see you guys next Friday with another fake card. All right, people. Thanks for watching.